You've probably heard of the term sleeper, as in a sleeper agent or a sleeper car. Basically, that term means that you have an unassuming front or facade, but underneath that is something that's, you know, much more surprising, like say, a highly trained agent or a really powerful engine. This is how I would describe the Asus VivoBook Pro 14 OLED, a sleeper laptop. It comes in this sort of ordinary looking chassis, but inside its shell are powerful internals that's ready to take on tasks. Whether you're a businessman on the way to a meeting or a creative that's out and about looking for inspiration. Hey guys, Kevin here, you're with the Modern Creatures and welcome to another video. This is our Asus VivoBook Pro 14 OLED review. The VivoBook line and the ZenBook series share similarities at least in terms of their physical looks. The VivoBook comes in a design that is subtle and doesn't really attract much attention than say an ROG Zephyrus model. Although not as thin as the ZenBook lineup, this laptop comes with a sleek profile that's solidly built and can withstand daily beatings of working remotely and sliding in and out of a bag. It has a simple and straightforward design and the lid comes with only this embossed area for the series name emblazoned in chrome. As I mentioned before, I like it in its quiet blue color for that stealthy approach and it doesn't demand attention when you're outside. For a more sophisticated look, you can go for the cool silver option. Moving on to its display, let's take a closer look at what frames the screen. It comes with bezels that are not that thick but not that slim either. But what will get your attention is this HD webcam right here that comes with its own privacy shutter. If you're the kind who gets a little bit paranoid whether or not you turned off your camera during a video call, this little feature will give you peace of mind. As long as you see an orange dot above your screen, you're sure no one can see what you're doing even if you're in the middle of a call. Just remember to mute your mic as well. And with the relaxation of some rules regarding the pandemic, I've been attending meetings and even lunches physically, and having the VivoBook Pro 14 OLED with me makes squeezing in some work in between a lot easier. Its lightweight form factor comes with no fuss setting up and packing from one spot to another. Plus, having a complete array of ports from a standard HDMI, micro SD reader, audio jack, USB Type-C, and a total of three USB Type-A ports further allow you to make your mobile workstation more efficient. Moving on, I actually prefer wider space for the keyboard, but although it's not as wide as I've been used to with my personal ZenBook 13, there wasn't any major difference with how I type. I could type as fast and in fact, I feel like I could type even faster on the VivoBook. This means transitioning from a wider keyboard to a more compact layout didn't bring any issues, which is good news for those whose work involves a lot of typing. Plus, its recessed power key acts as a fingerprint scanner so you could enroll your biometrics and add a layer of security. Unfortunately, that's as much security you can use as the laptop doesn't outright support Windows Hello for facial recognition. In terms of design, I like the minimal white highlight found on the enter key as it gives a nice accent and nicely breaks the monotonous flavor of the laptop's chassis. Its touchpad is also nice to work on if you don't have your mouse with you. It feels really smooth, even smoother to glide your fingers on when compared with Asus's other models. But just like other Asus laptops, it comes with its own magic touch that transforms the touchpad into a digital number pad. I'm not the kind who crunches numbers all day, but I would imagine this feature being of great help for those who do. For the device itself, its OLED panel is a treat to the eyes whether I'm watching random videos online or streaming TV shows and movies. The laptop comes with 100% DCI-P3 color gamut and a Pantone validated display, which together translate to producing lifelike colors and accurate hues. These are things we look for when sharing content with other people, most especially when it comes to pitching ideas or previewing videos we made. As the ones who are presenting, it's important that viewers will see colors that we intend them to see. And having a 100% DCI-P3 color gamut with Pantone validation is exactly how we can achieve that. Additionally, we're no strangers to consuming content on an OLED screen. So I felt right at home seeing the warmer and realistic tint of skin tones, the true blacks it delivers, and the lively colors that fill your eyes with its vibrance. Plus, probably one of the things I appreciate the most is its contrast ratio that for me, makes a whole lot of difference especially when compared to viewing on an LCD display. It just has that separation of light and dark that's easier on the eyes and easily achieved by OLED. 
Its 14-inch screen size is also a welcome change from the 13-inch panels that notebooks commonly have. With its 16 to 10 aspect ratio, I was not that used to it at first but eventually found out how it provides more screen real estate for when I have multiple windows active on my browser for example or even when I'm editing videos. Now for audio performance, the built-in speakers are surprisingly loud with minimal distortion at max volume. It's enough even when sharing videos and music with the group and is also clear for casual movie watching. But as I mentioned many times before, I like being immersed while watching, so I just hook things up to our speakers for a more solid audio experience with its dedicated subwoofer. You can do that here with this laptop simply by using its Bluetooth and connecting wirelessly to other speakers. Inside, our VivoBook Pro 14 OLED comes with an AMD Ryzen 9 CPU with an NVIDIA RTX 3050 graphics. There's an option to go for lower tier AMD processors and integrated graphics but this is the top configuration you can get. Meanwhile, it comes with either 8GB or 16GB of RAM and up to 512GB of SSD storage. And what we have here is the 16GB and 512 gigabyte variant. Again, it looks unassuming when you bring it out due to its more professional look, but under the hood are internals that can take on most of the processes you throw at it. And to help provide that performance, one of its unique features is that it's equipped with dual fans for more effective cooling. With them, Asus promises up to 50 watt CPU performance for heavy users. Now, I don't have a way to show that 50 watt improvement for its CPU performance, but with the tasks I do on most laptops, you know, usually video editing or motion graphics, they tend to get warm or hot in certain areas. For this laptop though, it was able to keep its cool whether I'm editing videos with heavy graphics or just playing games. It does get a little bit warm on the upper part but nothing too noticeable and your hands don't even go up there so it's possible that you don't even feel it. And just a quick one, speaking of editing videos, purchasing the Asus VivoBook Pro 14 OLED makes you eligible for a 3-month subscription to Adobe Creative Cloud which includes software like Adobe Premiere Pro, After Effects, Photoshop and more to further help Help you with your content creation journey. The VivoBook Pro 14 OLED also boasts fast Wi-Fi 6 connectivity which is able to establish a more reliable internet connection. This became especially helpful to us when we're out and we need to attend important video calls. So consistent connectivity is of utmost importance. Or when we need to upload large files and videos, its stability is what we were banking on and it didn't fail us. Its battery is rated at 63 watt hours which should be enough for a few hours of heavy usage before needing to plug it again. And during our time, that was exactly the case. The battery only lasts for around 4-5 to five hours of continuous usage. If I were editing videos or playing games, those few hours could even be cut to around 3 hours or so, depending on how heavy the tasks I'm doing. This is why I found myself always plugged into its charger. And if I need to be moving around with no power outlets available, I just make sure that I leave the house with a full battery and that usually does it for me. And although the battery can get drained fast, I was never caught with a dying battery while working, just as long as you know how to optimize your laptop usage. On the other hand, charging is pretty fast and usually takes around an hour or so to fully charge the laptop. And as always in our reviews, the modern creatures aims to find special features in devices that make them worth having. Their creature feature. And for the Asus VivoBook Pro 14 OLED, it would have to be its powerful tandem of processor and graphics card. As I mentioned, this is a sleeper laptop that looks very normal and not flashy at all. But it's capable of rendering heavy graphics for both video editing and games while literally keeping it cool. The Asus VivoBook Pro 14 OLED starts at 47,995 pesos for the base model. But the configuration with us is priced at 74,995 pesos and includes the 3 month subscription to Adobe Creative Cloud mentioned earlier. And with its unassuming exterior, its subtle design highlights, OLED display, and very capable internals, it's a work and leisure laptop that I would definitely bring with me both on nearby trips or out of town travels. And that's about it for our Asus VivoBook Pro 14 OLED review. As always, visit our website and follow us on our social media pages for more news, features, and reviews. Once again, that's it for me. I'm Kevin. Thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.